Good day. Today we have our special guest, Mr. Luis Tenta. He's a former teacher and we welcome him to the Santa Elena Public Library. A teacher's importance cannot be measured. And today he will share about our Honorable George Price. Thank you. It's, um, I'm, I'm 71 years old. Um, I've lived all my life here in Santa Elena. Um, I was always very active in politics in the early years. Today I'm, I'm getting a little days in the age probably, and then we have So um, my encounters with the Honorable, at that time he was Premier, and um, before independence right up to when we started up with them, the self-government I was just a kid at the time. But I could vividly remember when he used to come and um, we used to wait for him at the public courts area there. So we would um, take him out, walk him out to San Ignacio or I was the only thing we say in San Ignacio. I was just a little boy, but very active from there. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Price was a very Humble man. He used to know almost everybody. I could remember as a kid, he used to drive into Santa Elena and just stop anywhere. He and his driver. And they were, where is Miss Luz? That's my mother. I said, oh, this man, oh, my mother. Where is Miss Mina, our neighbor? Where? And he used to ask a lot of good people. And he was always willing, as soon as he reached your area, he going to your kitchen, like, where are you going today? And no, he looked nice, man. So they would ask him, you know, that piece. Sure, we can get a little taste. The guy would buy one they get it. And he would taste the canned tortillas with beans, basically, these guys. At that time, things were rough. And he would talk to them about the revolution in the life. Like a revolution. <laughs> Peaceful, constructive, these are revolution. And he was very um, taken up in that. And that's what I used to admire. From him and that, that Belize was all in that about. And uh, he put in his whole life into it. I could say that Mr. Price visited almost every village and town in this country. I remember one time after independence, I, had a, I got a piece of land in Nostamos. Uh -huh. I was just beginning to clear up some pieces there. And when I saw this jeep, this a uh, global. That Philip was a priest and over. And he just came off his vehicle and he walked up where we were chatting. And he said, Oh, are you the maestro? And then, yes, Mr. Price said, What are you doing here, man? He said, Well, I am have a piece of land here and I plan to convert it to a virtual piece. Oh, that is good, he said, because when we people in the city begin to die of hunger, you might have corn and cocoa and all the effects and all the plants and you know, you used to eat a good deal. And from there he left and he visited different people in the neighborhood because there were many that time there were four or five of us. He visited everybody and spoke to us about it. all of his politics in it. He said, we are ready, what are we doing to get ready for independence before that? And after independence, how is independence doing? And those are the things I would say that I admire from that man. And he always that he was very fluent in both English and Spanish. And another thing I admire him was that his commitment to God. He always had that part in his in his talks. And when he spoke to you, he would always put God as the first thing. Then he would continue talking. So I'm um, as I said, Mr. Prince, he, He's a person, a people's person. And basically, those are the things I present like questions. All right. Thank you, Mr. Gentle. I know we have some um, pictures you want to share with us. Yeah, this is a book here, book is a price and it's a revolution. Um, I think it's a piece of history that we cannot lose. Basically, it's, it's mostly the 
He's visiting the rural people of Belize. He visited the Ikebu Bukai and the Mamadouis because he visited the Maya and so a lot. He visited the Garifuna in the south, mid south. He visited the north of that also. And that was his baby. He wanted to, he, he made sure that the people were on his side out of it. Okay. Now, this is kind of the show. Is one and he loved the nature. Yeah. I remember one time I was in the Central Farm and somebody had cut some mango trees. That man got rabbit. How did those mango trees go down? Who gave permission? Well, nobody can say anything as the basket permission one the basket. And he was he went to them and told them no, never do that. Those mango trees are there for a while. They are always federal people. They are using a mom. There's no salt. And it continues that yeah. local, uh, meaning the local, the poor people. He yeah. always had the poor people in mind. Yeah. There's a main thing I learned from him again. So he would never come here and just go to the rich people, he would go to the poor people. Thank you, Mr. Gentle, for this precious time that you have shared with us. Um, I hope it's not the last time that we can count on you for more memories and history. Thank you very much. Thank you too.